Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to do a request from a subscriber who asked me to compare Broadcom stock with Visa stock and answer which one is the better dividend stock to buy right now. So that's what I'll do. I'll compare these two across several important financial metrics including the dividend yield, revenue, profit margin and valuation to answer which one is the better buy. So let's get started with the dividend yield. Looking at the yield, Broadcom offers a better dividend yield of 2.05% compared to Visa, which offers a 0.73% dividend yield. The next metric I want to compare is annual revenue, and I'm looking at the last decade. And interestingly, these two dividend stocks are very close in revenue with Visa at $29.3 billion in revenue in its most recent year, with Broadcom at $33.2 billion in revenue in its most recent year, surpassing Visa. Interestingly, if you look back at 2014, Visa had the strong lead ahead of Broadcom in terms of revenue, and I suspect going forward, Broadcom will deliver better revenue growth than Visa. Visa's not known to be a fast growing stock. You will be fortunate if Visa can grow its revenue in the high to mid single digits. Something like anything above six, seven, eight percent revenue growth for Visa over the next decade, I think uh, Visa stock investors would be happy with. Whereas with Broadcom, double digit revenue growth is certainly a possibility. Not so much so with Visa because the industry, it's already saturated much of its market. There's already more than 4 billion Visa cards in people's wallets. So there isn't as wide an opportunity for growth for Visa compared to Broadcom. The next metric I wanted to look at is the operating profit margin over the trailing 12 months. And this is where Visa really shines. It is the highest operating profit margin company of any of the stocks that I follow. In fact, it's the highest profit margin of any company that of any publicly traded company that I'm aware of. And it's been this way considerably consistently for the last decade. If you look back at the last 10 years, Visa's operating profit margin has been above 60% the entire time. It's risen slightly but it's been above 60% that entire way. Broadcom recently has dramatically improved its operating profit margin. It was in the mid double digits, sometimes surpassing 20% over the last decade. But in the last couple of years, it really soared over 45%. Now, it doesn't have enough history to determine if this is going to be sustainable longer term, if it can achieve above 40% operating profit margins longer term, or will it mean revert back to around the 20% range? So that remains to be seen. Whereas with Visa, investors can be reasonably confident that it can sustain this six, north of 60% operating profit margin for the long term. Finally, I wanted to compare these two on valuation and I chose to use the forward price to earnings ratio. And judging by this metric, Visa is more expensive at a forward PE of 25.19 compared to Broadcom at 18.89. So Visa is about 33% more expensive than Broadcom according to this valuation metric. And given the significant outperformance in terms of profitability, I would be willing to pay the premium price to buy Visa stock. So if I was to choose between Visa and Broadcom today, I would choose Visa stock. All right, so that's all I've got for this video. Thank you again for making the request. If you've got any videos you would like me to do or compare, please go ahead and comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.